Now we've got more cruisers for you as well. Now this is very, very special. This mm. is the Cunard and this is the Queen Victoria. Absolutely stunning cruise here. If you have 14-night Mediterranean cruise here. And of course, a wonderful, wonderful service. Yeah, absolutely. And this was my, Queen Victoria was my first Cunard ship. Um, I was the entertainment director of her for, for several years. Fantastic oh. ship. So we're going to see some video footage now. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's absolutely stunning. It really, really is. So look, you're seeing here when she was originally named back in 2007 and launched. Um, she's the, there's only three ships in the Cunard fleet currently, and, the, and this is the, the, the second of the three, Queen Victoria. And again, she's beautiful. She's set out in this Victorian kind of, um, this Victorian idea with these wonderful reds and, and dark kind of walnuts. Mm. With Cunard, they, they strip it back to the, the, all the best things about cruising. You know, it's all about the service. It's all about beautiful surroundings. They don't do gimmicks. They don't do, they don't do all these flashes, these bells and whistles. Yeah. They just do what they do, what they offer you mm. to the best possible. That beautiful theatre there, which is um, oh, stunning, absolutely isn't stunning. It? Private theatre boxes where you can watch the show. Uh, they do a thing where you can go through and you get a photo of the show. You get kind of champagne and stuff brought through to you and you get to enjoy the show as if, you know, um, it's part of a, you know, part of a luxurious dining experience. It's incredible. It's called the theatre box. Absolutely Beyond that, stunning. you've got fantastic um, places where you can go and relax, whether from sunbathing through to the through to the Queen's Room, which you're seeing pictures of, mm -hmm. um, and then you go through and have a wonderful chance to enjoy um, the service, the Golden Line Pub, where you can get fish and chips, where you can get you know draft beers, where they have a bit of a sing along, maybe a bit of karaoke in the evening. The whole place is a bit of a living museum. So you're seeing Cunard, you're going to see bits of, of Cunard's history, and again, course, Cunard's history yes. stretches back over 174 mm. years, uh, going through you know World War One, World for two, a massive involvement. Um, White Star Service with Cunard, and that's where yes. the crew never say no to you. They always suggest a different option. Um, and the crew are one of the best things about these ships. They're so friendly. Uh, they're from all over the world. You've got a great wine cellar on board, a great different choice. You have these wonderful army sommeliers who will offer you uh, different wines every night for you to try and enjoy. Um, you've got the Verve Cuquet Champagne Bar where you can sit and people watch and watch the world go by. Um, oh. And great entertainment and great guest lectures as well. They have oh, really good speakers cool. on, really good. I mean, yeah. I, I interviewed David Frost when I was on there. You, you get loads of great people. John Cleese is on there all the time. You get big names um, f f from the entertainment industry who are yeah. on there talking about uh, their life, talking about their work. Oh. sharing it with you oh absolutely stunning ship of course and great destinations of course for you as well and uh, let's start off we go from southampton we've got three relaxing days at sea to enjoy what you have just seen and then we move on to our destination Cartagena, yeah which is tucked in a deep bay guided by these two magnificent clifftop fortresses well worth going to enjoy just walk through the town it's a spanish gem it's steeped in history and you've got the beaches of costa calida 175 miles of them to explore and also la manga strip like a bit of expat paradise then uh, you're heading on to barcelona and barcelona stunning city of course i'm going to be filming there in a couple of weeks time with planet cruise uh, oh, very exciting and this is an iconic place uh, full of gaudi's wonderful architecture full of some of the mm. best beaches uh, the best urban beaches in the world according to national geographic uh, that's the wonderful um, oh, cathedral which is never finished iconic. unfortunately that's mm. where gaudi's buried if you want to go and find out but his architecture his touch is all over the city uh, la padera one of the two houses homes that he built is probably the best thing to go and see. You can walk through the chimneys and the views from there are stunning. And then Park Gowell, again, is a, was a park built for one of the local barons, which is stunning to go and explore. You can go into the New Camp, go to the Football Museum, head out to Montserrat, the Holy Mountain. You can also go and enjoy some amazing food. In fact, the best thing to do really is to wander down Las Ramblas. And that's around Blas, it's this long uh, street that leads right into the heart. At the end of it, you'll find this place, that Bukela Market, over 900 years old, full of amazing Spanish food. Great place to get some tapas, great place to get some spicy chili, though. Um, it's a magical city. Um, it really has, it's a wonderful yeah. old city. It's got a wonderful ancient uh, kind of old area mm -hmm. um, where you can just wander through all these winding cobbled streets and you go and see these quirky boutiques and go and pick yourself up an antique. Now, we're going to move on, of course, loads more to see, loads more destinations also. So, moving on, of course, we've going to Toulon. Toulon. Yeah, this is Fuse, this kind of French Riviera Glam with a kind of feel of a traditional old town. It's beautiful. Um, it's got a lovely little harbour area which you can go and explore. with loads of creperies, so you can go and have a crepe right on the seafront in Toulon, which I always recommend. Uh, a great local farmer's market as well for you to enjoy with some great produce there um, from all the little villages. And this is your gateway through to the Provence countryside, to the sunflowers, um, through to the, the, the area that inspired artists like Van Gogh. You can head out to lovely little places places like Cassis and of course you can head out to Saint-Tropez uh, and oh. enjoy uh, 
the fame and fortune and That's the it. celebrity watch. Celebrity, yeah, yes. exactly. You spot your celebrities out in Saint Tropez. <laughs> Absolutely. And then we move on to Florence. Yeah, Florence. Uh, well, the, the port is Livorno, and mm -hmm. from here you can go through to the Living Renaissance Museum that is Florence, or mm -hmm. you can go to Pisa and get your photo oh, holding up a tower choice. if you want to. Uh, the choice is yours. But <laughs> Livorno itself is great if you don't want to go far. Uh, just go and do a canal ride and explore locally and go to a local market, get yourself some great Italian shoes. From there, Ajaccio is next. This is the French island. This was the birthplace of Napoleon Bonaparte. Um, and again, it's absolutely stunning. You'll see statues of Napoleon all over the place. Um, but I recommend going through to the Palace Fresh, which you get loads of great artwork. In fact, it's, it's France's largest collection of Italian paintings outside Louvre, the Louvre. Um, and you've got Botticelli, Bellini, and many, many more. Try and, try and uh, sample here some of the local food. They've got a wonderful thing called uh, Ficatulu sausage, which is gorgeous, mm. and they serve it with cap course wine, which is their local wine developed on the island. Really, really beautiful. There's loads of little beaches nearby, all within walking distance of where you dock. There's a little market, again, where you can try, um, oh, plum liqueur. The plum liqueur is to die for, and also the honey cakes. Get stuck into those. Awesome. Um, and beyond that, the tortoise park, Capaluta Park, it's a tortoise protectress centre, and mm -hmm. you get little babies there, all the way up to these wizened old grandfathers. It's incredible. Oh, Europe's only, gorgeous. Europe's only uh, tortoise protection centre. Really? Yeah. Um, we then have a relaxing day at sea. We're going to Gibraltar next. Yeah, I always like to say this is like a piece of Portsmouth sliced off and, and rowed 500 <laughs> miles south. Um, in fact, Laurie Lee was the one who said that first. But cable car, <laughs> you can do the cable car right up uh, the rock to visit the Barbary Apes, the cheeky little monkeys. You'll see a picture of them there. He's looking happy. Or you can do a taxi ride straight from the ship up to explore. And when you go up there, you'll go to go underground as well. You get a chance to go and see the caves of Gibraltar, the, the acoustic, the acoustic uh, wonderful mm -hmm. cathedral cave. Um, and you're also going to see all the siege tunnels uh, that were built in order to defend this area. Strategically, it's very, very important. Uh, it's a, it's a duty-free paradise, you know. You get great bargains on duty-free oh, stuff. There's yeah. even a Marks and Spencer's if you want to go get your Percy Pigs. The bobbies all look like they're from the Britain. You've got red pillar boxes, and it's, it's just a stunning little environment. Pubs where you can go to pub lunch. Um, brilliant. And now you've got your pressy pigs and you're moving on to a relaxing day at sea. And then we have another great destination. Yeah, La Coruña. This is yes. great because it's blanketed on both sides by the Atlantic. Um, it's a perfect walking city because it's got this big long promenade called the Paseo Maritimo, which stretches for 10 kilometres and circles the city. And it's your gateway through to Santiago to Compostela. And also that, the Tower of Hercules that you mm. just saw there. It's the oldest working lighthouse in the world, over 2,000 years old, dates back to Roman times. Absolutely incredible. A relaxing day at sea then, of course, and you are... I'll be back. I'll be back to Southampton. A beautiful ship, of course, that you're going to be able to enjoy the Queen Victoria. I've seen gorgeous images there as well. Yeah, beautiful ship. Again, I, I spent some happy years working on here, um, and it's, I would like to say with Cunard is it's five-star. They've got the history. They've got the service. Uh, you'll have a wonderful cruise. You'll get a space of the ship just for you. They've got the wonderful ballroom where you can go oh. dance. Um, they have live music all over the ship for you to enjoy. Whatever, wherever you go harpists quartets two massive full-on bands that play live for you it's, it's a paradise for entertainment it is absolutely spoiling you on this one of course great price here 899 pounds per person that is incredible for what we've just talked about and what you have just seen there you've got the half price on the uh, Mion Valley Marriott in Southampton as well your itineraries and ship differ slightly of course depending on the departure date and of course you will have a deposit only there as well that's on the 26th of July departure and that is absolutely incredible and you can go for an ocean view if you want to just for M949 so that's just uh, um, £80 extra as well. Absolutely incredible. Lovely excursions here as well. Absolutely. As we always say with the excursions, if you book them through us, it can be up to 60% cheaper. And it takes the stress out of that first day on board where you go to the port showcase and you're, you're worried about going queuing up and booking. And sometimes all the tours are taken. So take the stress out of it. Book them before you arrive. Have that first day sitting back, having a cocktail and putting your feet up.